Well, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new project. Welcome back to Project Volvo S80. Um, I've always loved these cars. I actually had a one, a petrol one, um, not long ago actually. I think about, about a year ago. Uh, it was a lovely car, one owner from new. This car's pretty much the same, but it's got one particular difference. It's the diesel, the D5, the five cylinder 2.4, 160 brake horsepower D5. But one special point, this is nearly on a changeover year. This is on the changeover year before they started putting DPFs on. This is the Euro 3 D5, which is the one you want. And then they move on to the, the Euro 4s with DPFs on. One good way to know which one's which is either by the year, usually about 04, 05. And also they've got a silver engine cover. The black engine cover is a Euro 3. Um, far better in my opinion. To the point of I've just done a, an 80 mile round trip in this car. It's got to be well over two tonne. Your hands and what are we getting there? To feel those 61 mile to the gallon. I'll just turn the radio off. Like 60 mile to the gallon is just unheard of. Automatic as well. Two ton car. And obviously not many people might have seen an S80. Everybody seems to assume these with the with the um what the police used to use, the S60s. The S80, from what I can gather, is just a bit wider. A bit longer, a bit wider. And to be honest, I think they've got a bit more kind of classy look to them. I just like something like this, something different. Um, obviously, I think a lot of people might be aware I've more or less sold my L200 So the only car that I have is my Mercedes ML And that thing being like a 3.7 V6 petrol um, Is far too expensive So the only reason I bought this car Is because my, me, uh, my son now um, My ex-partner's moved away like it's, like, a, it's like a 50 to 80 mile Depending on diversions round trip and that Mercedes has costed me almost to do it twice. Obviously, to go and pick them up, bring them home, take them back, come home. It's costing us 30 to 40 pounds in petrol. This has just done it in. Well, I've just put. Let's have a look at the gauge. I put 20 pounds in, and it was a few clicks up well, before the half. Excuse the radio. I'll run. just turn that off. It was just touching that, just under that first little bar. And it's come down to there. Obviously, I could do the maths and work out 60, uh, the, the mileage to the amount, but I think them trip computers are a little bit optimistic sometimes. So I reckon safely been getting 50 miles to the gallon. So all I've really bought this for is the Mercedes is just too expensive to be commuting about in. And also what my plan is with that, as we've all seen on my other videos, it's starting to get, get like the usual Mercedes bits of rust on it. So after we've had our final caravanning trip in September, that's going to go off the road and get covered up uh, somewhere, put into storage, and I'll just use this through the winter. And let's face it, you kind of get better than one of these in the winter. Heated seats, leather seats, you know. Um, another reason I bought this for, which it's actually booked in for, is the, the air conditioning does work on it. The guy you show us is all my money back. Um, but the thing is, this car hasn't been used for about two years. Um, as it happens, this, the, the family I bought this car from, it's been more or less garaged for the last 10 years and not used to any winters because they in the winter they've got a, uh, like a villa somewhere abroad so this car so this car has actually missed 10 winters and they don't rush to start with these they're, ah, they're, they're really 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 good cars and as you can see here there's cobwebs from it just standing these just do not rust and it's in very very good condition as well for its age and look at them seats, that's just Volvo class. And I'm telling you what, they are comfortable. Properly fitted, they're like a material mat, but they're rubber. So as much water I can get in that as possible, like in the winter with snow, and it will not go through onto the carpets. 12 volt input, Isofix. Apologies, I've got my son's um, child seat in, because I've obviously just took him back. The seats are immaculate, interior immaculate. Only issue it's got, guy was honest with us, this window, it's making a funny noise inside the door, it doesn't work, so I'll leave in that be. Couldn't really care less because it's in to get the air conditioning regassed. By the way, anybody, if you use Groupon, I don't normally recommend these places like Quick Fit and ATS and all that, but for air conditioning at the moment, the gas has gone sky high. It's normally 60 to 100 pound to get a regas. If you go onto Groupon and find your local ATS, you get them done for 37 pound. And in the case of this car, it takes a full kilogram, a thousand grams, which is a lot, and I'll be getting that done for 30 odd quid. Normally, it would be probably pushing 100 pound for this. So that's in, and I'll be nice I, i'm pretty confident it'll work the guy's offered like i said he's offered us me money back um 
but it's just with it standing. It's not been used for like two years, I think they were saying, or a year or something. It's normal, providing none of the seals have um, perished on it. But we'll cross that bridge when we, when we get to it. The only other issue with the car is the sunroof. Uh, he said it was working perfectly, and then all of a sudden it stopped working. And I found out why. And it's not a big deal, really. If you switch the ignition on, it probably won't come up. But if it flashes up like all these Volvos do on here, alarm system requires service. Because, believe it or not, if you have got one of these, an S60 or an S80, or the V versions of the estate, I think the V, what are the V70s? There's a little battery in the alarm which goes dead and starts to leak on the circuit board of the alarm siren which is somewhere one of the wheel arches or something and that believe it or not runs on the same circuit as the sunroof so so just because the battery's knocked up on the alarm um it stops the sunroof from working there's some ways around it one some people say remove a fuse for the alarm system which then will make the sunroof work we'll see because sometimes that can have effects making other stuff not work and the other thing is, is simply take the alarm unit out and replace the battery, but normally the circuit boards are knacked. So I don't know, we'll see. If it's as simple as taking the fuse out, we'll have a sunroof work, and if not, I'll be happy with aircon. So like I'm saying, just going back round here to the interior at the back, it's just such a nice car, nice, you know, uh, ventilation for the rear passengers. You know, I'll quickly pop the bonnet, and I'll show you, there's not a great deal to see under there. Um, what's the thing? Just such a nice car. Honestly, I've just done 80 mile in the thing, and it is so comfortable. Honestly, I mean, uh, as you know, I drive loads of different cars, and these are just on another level. Look at that, five-cylinder, 2.4 diesel. It's only got 116,000 mile on, which is nothing for one of these. These things flip. <laughs> I've seen these with four and 500,000 mile on, no problem. Um, as there's my little plate that I keep telling people to look out for. No DPF, you see, it's 1.5. Um, but the best way to know, Euro 4s have a silver one. They'll, they'll, you'll have a DPF with those. Not as good miles per gallon. They've got a slight bit more power. But the best ones are the Euro 3s with the black cover. What I'm going to do with this, this is your AGR here. I'm going to take this unit off, clean it all out, and I've got a blank and plate to put in. You Basically, you, you can't blank these ones fully because you get a light on, but you partially blank them. So all it does is, if you've got a hole that big, it reduces it down to just a tiny little hole so it'll allow enough flow through uh, not to trigger the light but a lot less um, gas can get through which improves miles per gallon low down performance and all the rest of it that's what i'm going to be doing obviously a full service oil and filter air filter i think i've got a high flow one fuel filter adds under the floor at the back pollen filter um like i've said that's what i was talking about the gas a full kilo of gas and there's your charging point um, I th it has got a bit of a rattle on the alternator, clutch pulley, all the tension up, but it's nothing drastic. And I'm thinking some of the engine mounts, the vacuum ones, I'm going to do a test as a little unit here. And I'll show you a neat little trick on a separate video how to test the... They basically, you've got two airbags, what the engine sits on, which are pumped up by vacuum. Um, I'll show you on another video for those. I may do them, but we'll get a few more miles under our belt on it first. Um, me just being a bit funny uh, with these things. I've noticed the blades missing on the little headlight wi light wiper. I'm going to order a pair of those. And the main head and wipers with the car not getting used are absolutely not good. Uh, not good at all. So I haven't had the car up on the lift yet, but I've done a considerable journey in it and it's been fine. So there we go. Fingers crossed. Obviously, I'm not going to want. I'm not wanting to spend too much money on this car until my L200 goes because I've got a deposit left on it. But we've got some issues with the private number plates not being able to come off. Um, I may do a separate video on that actually to warn people who have private plates about what can happen when you come to remove them. Um, but once the L200's gone and I've got a bit more money to spend, this is going to be my permanent car now for over the winter to run alongside the Mercedes ML. Uh, I'll do a few other jobs like you can see. These are dead cheap. They're only about 20 quid for a genuine value one. I'll stick one in. Nice glass headlights. This little head, this headlight here had a little bit of condensation, but this car has been stood. So I think it just needs it to be used, to be honest. Um, oh, that's what it is. These little side markers. Um, I've got two new ones of those coming. You can see it's slightly burnt in there. And I've already changed these on the other one. When you come to take it out, the bulb unit at the back will be knackered. Um, so I've got two of them coming because at the moment they're not working. 
and with these you use, you use a 501 which is like your standard side light bulb you have in your headlamps but it's a 3 watt one the reason why these burn out is people put a standard 5 watt in and it burns them out it's a 3 watt it's a, it's like a it's just a diff, exactly the same kind of bulb but a lower lower uh, wattage one so there we go let us know what you think in the comments below not everyone's cup of tea might be an old granddad's car but to be quite honest i couldn't care less the thing drives absolutely superb we'll jump inside quickly i'm more happy with this than anything else i'll tell you it drives all i'm interested in is that it's got enough power which has got loads loads of power automatic comfy seats heated seats fingers crossed ice cold air conditioning but what a nice place to be this is it's honestly the seats the more it's just like sitting on a sofa at home cruise control Oh, Volvo's have fantastic sound systems as well. It's got the full Dolby digital stuff. Dual zone climate control, heated seats. Automatic folding mirrors, which the ignition isn't on. I'll just put on. There we go. Automatic folding mirrors. Like I've mentioned, obviously all the basics. Stuff, fun fogs. Uh, automatic dip dim mirror. Automatic wipers sunroof which like i've mentioned does work but because of the stupid alarm system it doesn't just even this is like padded like like nothing else man it's just crazy um winter mode automatic everybody's seen one of these probably they're just great you know center speaker you know what's it there One hundred and sixteen thousand mile so yeah let us know what you think of it have i getting a good car you know full years mot all new tires probably half the work i'm gonna do to it doesn't really need it's just me being typical me what to make a project out of it um yeah so let us know what you think put a comment down like comment subscribe share it to your friends thanks for watching bye